Hello, and welcome to this presentation. We discuss and demonstrate how to set up the Desktop Graphical User Interface, or GUI, in the Virtual Network Computing, or VNC, server on an Oracle Linux instance on the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. The Oracle Linux image loaded by default in an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure instance does not include an installed or configured graphical user interface. There are some applications that require a GUI or a web browser to run. In some instances, the browser must run on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure instance. Applications could include Prometheus or Istio, and you might need a browser to access registries or to use an appliance such as the Oracle Linux Storage Appliance. Because the instance runs in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, you will have to serve the instance GUI. For this purpose, install VNC Server software. This is set up as a service and enabled so that it is always accessible. The two parts of this task, then, include installing the server with GUI, with YUM, and installing and configuring the VNC service. The following demonstration shows how to complete these two parts of the task. I'm logged into an Oracle Linux 7 instance terminal with Secure Shell as the user OPC. Because we're about to install and configure software in a service, we enter sudo bash to start a privileged session as root. Next, enter yum group list to see available groups of packages to install. Note the server with GUI group at the end of the list of available environment groups. Enter the command yum group install server with GUI. Be sure to include quotation marks to preserve the embedded spaces. Confirm by entering Y. Now recall the yum list group command and see that the server with GUI is the only entry under installed environment groups. Next, install the Tiger VNC server. This server package is distributed with Oracle Linux. Enter the command yum install tiger vnc server minus y. Use minus y to avoid having to respond to the prompt to install the software. It's necessary to set the vnc server password for the user OPC. So, enter the word exit to leave the bash session and use the clear command to clear the screen. We make sure we're at the OPC home directory by entering the cd command. We verify we are the OPC user by entering the command who am I. The result confirms we are the user OPC. Now, enter the command vncpasswd to set the connection password for the OPC user. Enter the password and confirm the password by entering it again. When prompted to enter a view-only password, respond by entering N for no. A confirmation message reflects this decision. Restart a privileged session as root by entering sudo bash. Next, copy the VNC service template file from the lib systemd system directory to the etsy systemd system directory. Include the backslash colon one display number in the destination file name for the dot service. Use the VI editor to edit the service template file that was just copied. The service template includes two placeholders for the username. Replace the user tokens with the name OPC and save the file. Reload the service unit configuration files with the command systemctl daemon reload. Use the clear command to clear the terminal display. Now, enter systemctl enable and the name of the VNC service. Then, recall the command and change enable to start to start the service. After the service starts and the prompt returns, recall the previous command and change start to status. This shows us the status of the service. The status shows us the service is running. Enter the clear command again. Now, configure the firewall. First, use the command firewall cmd dash dash list all to see what settings are currently in place. The services include DHCP v6 client and SSH. 
use the command firewall cmd dash dash add service equal vnc dash server. With success returned, recall the command and add the dash dash permanent option so the firewall maintains the open port for the VNC server. With success returned, recall the firewall cmd list all command. The VNC service now appears on the list of services. I started the VNC client on the desktop machine, which is running an Oracle Linux virtual machine hosting the terminal session. I've entered the IP address with colon 1 for the display identifier. After clicking the connect button, the password prompt appears in a pop-up dialog box. Enter the password that was set with the VNC PASSWD command and click OK. The GNOME initial setup screens now appear in succession. First, select the system language. After selection, click Next in the upper right corner of the display. Now, select the keyboard. Click Next. I'm disabling location services because they won't be needed. Click Next. I click Skip to bypass connecting to online accounts. Close the Getting Started screen. The GUI interface for the Oracle Linux instance in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure is ready to use. In this presentation, we briefly discussed the need for and requirements to install the Oracle Linux GUI on an Oracle Cloud infrastructure instance, and we provided a demonstration of all the necessary activities and commands to complete the configuration. Oracle provides an extensive number of resources which you can use to learn more about this subject and others. There is a comprehensive Oracle Linux curriculum available to support a full range of Linux administration skills for cloud, on-premise, and hybrid users. And for more information or to get started on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, go to cloud.oracle.com. Thanks for watching. This ends the presentation.